Hello guys! Surprise, surprise, it's book haul time. First I got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. First I have to say that I love this cover. There's a very similar version to it where this is in the middle and everything else is like just white and ugly. And I was worried that I would get that copy, but I did it. I got the pretty one and it's also from my library and it looks like I stole it. I didn't. I got this because of the movie. I saw the trailer and thought that, wow, that movie looks freaking amazing. And it's Leonardo DiCaprio and it's just, wow, um, I want to see that. And then I saw that it was a book <laughs> and apparently it's also a classic. I was so worried because I thought I cannot be so ignorant as to not know about this classic. I mean, what's going on there? I asked my mom, I asked my dad, who's 62 years old, I asked brothers, I asked my friends, and none of them had ever, ever heard of The Great Gatsby. So I felt relieved to know that I was not the only one that didn't know about the existence of this little book. But a friend of mine that studied in the States told me that The Great Gatsby was the sort of book that you have as required reading in a high school. So it seems to be a really big deal in the States, but here it just, I mean, we didn't even know about it, but it sounds really interesting. I've seen John Green discuss this book and the movie looks really cool, so I'm hoping that I can read it by the time the movie is released here in Mexico. Because in the States it's already out, but by the time it makes its way to the theaters here, it's going to be a little while. I'm excited. Next, I got In Honor by Jesse Kirby. It was gifted to me by Dell from the It's a Library, which is an amazing blog. She's an amazing blogger. I've been following her for almost two years now, I think. Um, her blog, it's uh, uh, both in Spanish and in, in English. And I remember that when I first started blogging, I would see her blog and think she was just amazing for managing a blog in two languages. So. Yeah! She just saw that I had this on my wish list and she contacted me and told me that she would send it. So, woo! And she sent some other stuff. It all came really nicely. It came all in this little box from Chiapas. Look at it, it's gorgeous and probably hand painted. And inside... A little bear! It came with these little two butterflies that I have on my shelf when they're not in my hand. And the little bear! Look, it's knitted! I can't believe it's knitted. Oh my god. I am going to try to do something similar like this one of these days. Look at it! You're the cutest little thing I've ever seen. He is now a permanent resident of my shelf. And just thank you, Jell, for sending this to me. It's, oh my god, I love you. And I will be definitely sending something back. Yes, I will. One thing that's very typical from us, it's our burritos dressed as zebras. How do you say burrito in English? Our donkeys? <laughs> the most typical thing we have here, it's our donkeys painted as zebras. Which is bad. You, sh you, you shouldn't paint a donkey. You, you shouldn't. But yes, I am very excited to read this one. I will read it as soon as I finish with The Rules for Disappearing and Starglass, which are for blog tours. But after that, I will read this one. It just sounds really great. And the author has gotten lots of praise, so here's hoping that this is just as awesome as everyone says it is. And Sarah Oakler said that hands down my favorite contemporary of the year. Holy crapola. Sarah Oakler, it's like my favorite author ever. If you have not yet read a Sarah Oakler book, don't talk to me. If you haven't at least read a Sarah Desson book, then definitely don't talk to me. Or a John Green book. You can talk to me, just, just read something from them. 
I got two physical copies this week and I got a lot of other ebooks which were gifted to me but I will show those next week because otherwise I won't have anything to show let me know what books did you got this week and I will see you guys next week or not maybe someday between the week